Brex has a comprehensive hydraulic range within this range of various pipes and hydraulic fittings along with swaging machines. The purpose of today's demonstration is to show you how simple calibration and pipe swaging is with our latest offering. For the calibration test, we need to load up the H28Q thigh set. These are loaded up with the peg facing the bottom. Alternatively, there is a drilling, so easy to use. Simple loading into the machine. Just slide them down into the location tabs. And then push down into position. Your own location. The next part of the test is to set the dial gauge down to number two. This has given us an overall diameter of 30 mm. With the aid of a 30 mm bar or mandrel, locate down through the actual dies and close the dies up so they finish the mandrel. pressure is reached against it, we do an additional four or five parts. At which stage you should reach a, the final swage setting of 30 mm. This is indicated by the plunger should be level with the top of the adjustment lever. If adjustment is necessary, this will be carried out in the lock nut under, underneath the needle. Simply unlock the nut and adjust the bolt slightly up until the needle is level with the top of the dial gauge like so. Once that's achieved, simply lock up the nut and the nut is the machine calibrated. Once calibration has been sorted, We'll then go on to the next stage, which is carrying out the swage to check the diameter. Now, continuing the next stage of this is to swage a pipe. Um, for this, obviously, you need to change the die set to coincide with which pipe you're using. For this, I'm going to use a piece of 3 8 2 wire hose and a gates fitting. So, if I refer to the chart, for 382 wire, I require 16 dies, so 816Q die, ensuring that location lug is on the bottom. Simply load the dies in. Again, making sure they locate there. Next stage for this diameter. I need a finished diameter of between 20.1mm and 20.4mm, so I would wind the dials down to 4.1 or 4.4mm. I say in between 4.2, in a simple case of a ferrule into pipe. Load into the machine and begin to swerve. Again, continue swerving until the needle becomes level with the dial. Release the die set against the hose. Remove and carry out swaging diameter. Referring back, I should have a swage diameter 
finish diameter between 20.1 and 20.4 millimetres, and I have 20.25, so within tolerance. My information ensure that calibration of the machine has been carried out correctly. You can continue to swage as many hoses until you feel fit for the next calibration.